Yeah, open source actually is in a unique situation where, you know, you don't have to prove yourself, you don't have to go through any channel, you know, you can, you know, very easily start working on a project. Sure. So, so why is it that open source is not as diverse as we expect it to be? Yeah, I think that's, um, and I'll use the example of what's happening with kind of like in the Latinx or Latin, Latin American community. Um, there's been some great events that happened this year. Uh, the Apache Foundation and CNCF both held a hackathon that occurred in Guadalajara. Um, it was it was great because it started with a, a young a young Latina from Google uh, that had a ba Apache Beam and that was kind of like the primary kind of a hackathon effort that was there. But other other projects also got involved. And the thing that was most identified, it was great because there was a lot of new contributors that got their first commit. Um, but what you're finding the barrier is one is language. So how do I engage? How do I get in there? Because unfortunately, it, it's going to be right now English is the dominant. Um, I, I actually met with some individuals who are still contributing in the Drupal community and they're in the CMS space. And that's the one thing they asked, like less about like how to do it. And actually what they're asking me and my participation was you're, you're native, you've grown up here. How you can help us is help them understand how do you flow within this? How do you speak? How do you engage and give them the competency? And that seems to be one of the areas where if we can keep working at that, we'll find that individuals will come in there and be able to be a part of that community. So I think that's that's some of the challenges there. There is definitely some culture part as well. And I think a few years ago, it was, it was apparent where even understanding like, why open source? Why would I do this since in these areas in Latin America, it's been the very traditional enterprise -y, dominant software industry. And so changing minds about why open source is so important, especially when it's about to transform and probably be the most transformative in any region is in Latin America, where we expect uh, quite a bit of growth and adoption going to happen. So getting those individuals in there contributing is going to be important to help these products become, you know, you know, even more reflective of the diversity and help these products become even more resilient, actually, be, you know, something that really meets users where they're at.